Now, this fellow's point was, in asking the question, you know, to, who's out to destroy America, it was actually his way of getting out that there's a human component to the cyber aspects. It's not just technological. There's a great deal of on-the-ground human effort. And he pointed to the Russians. He, he would agree with your ranking, by the way. But he, he wanted to remind everybody, don't forget about the Russians while we're focusing on China. So, in, in, As we sit in New York City, um, you know, the city of New York is not responsible to defend against the international ballistic missiles that would come from the People's Liberation Army, right? The government provides that security. So is it fair that the city of New York and the companies here in New York have to go up against the PLA? And some would argue it, it's not fair. And so how do we get that right balance where uh, the government can't take over all of the security for these private networks and they can't um, offload the risk from the companies who have to make an investment decision on where to set their level of security. Um, but there's got to be some capacity on the government side to match with that private side um, and, and go forward. That's a good point. Yeah. So is I'm going to jump between, in here. <clears throat> between the seeding from the government yeah. to the private, can, can you collaborate without losing protection? Yeah. So having spent my career mostly in Wall Street and financial services um, as a senior policy advisor to the chair of the SEC, it's clear that 85% of critical infrastructure is owned and operated by the private sector. So what does that mean? We can't rely on government to save us. And I, from my perspective, there's been a false sense of security that organizations such as CISA, um, with a $3 billion budget, is here to save the day. Now, they've done some critical work in terms of providing uh, guidance around different types of vulnerabilities. If there's a threat, what types of remediation efforts should you follow? But um, it can't necessarily be the quarterback as it relates to a targeted cyber attack. And the analogy I use for our boardroom community, if you're building a house, you want your security systems, you want to install cameras, a fence, some type of locks on your door, are you really going to rely on the local municipality, the police department, to invest into those measures? No. The same level of conviction and focus should be within the boardroom and the CEO and the CFOs for these corporations to double down on investment.